I graduated in 2005. Um, I started at Adal Alberta Hospital and the Misericordia in 2005 and left the Miz not too long afterwards just because the Alberta Hospital offered me shifts and the Misericordia didn't, so sorry so Local you, 11. So you were around when Mr. Duckett tried to shut down Alberta Hospital in Edmonton? I was indeed and I was uh, attending, I attended a lot of the rallies and the events uh, associated with that. Um, there was some fear that uh, that you know being attending those rallies uh, would get us in trouble with the employer and things like that, but we you know that was another that was another thing where you know we got we were we were told you know you can as a citizen you can go you might not be able to say um, and it may you might get in trouble for saying I'm an AHS or no sorry Capital Health at the time employee um, or and I work at Alberta Hospital. But as a citizen, you're you're able to attend, and the the union um, and the local president gave us a lot of information um, and helped with a lot of things. And it was that was an amazing that was seeing collective action um, across several unions come together and groups. You know, the physicians were involved. You know, there was a lot of people that were involved in saving Alberta Hospital Edmonton, and uh, I'm proud that I was part of that group. So tell us a little bit more about how the realization of how effective the unions could be. When you're facing this huge battle, um, we, we all knew, if you worked at Alberta Hospital, you knew it was a terrible idea to shut the hospital down. There were not enough beds. We did specialized care in so many areas and provided support to under-resourced and underserved um, populations. You know, uh, the, the, the mental health system while it's getting some attention now and it, that it sorely needs, was always um, and has always been a bit of an afterthought in the healthcare system. And so, you know, we were kind of used to getting hand-me-down equipment, uh, outdated stuff from the Royal Alec or from the U of A, um, and, you know, semi-broken things that we made work. And there was a level of pride on site that we would take this stuff that didn't quite work right and make it work for our environment, for our patients, and provide them with excellent care. So we're, we were kind of of the mentality that, you know, there is, there's always going to be a little bit of a fight, um, and, you know, we're always going to have to be a little bit louder, because um, there's not that many of us, and to get our points across, to, to make sure that our, our patients are served and that, you know, we have the resources that we need. So, um, when you know the, it came down the pipe that they were going to shut down Alberta Hospital, um, we were sort of uh, almost prepared because we had been doing this for a long time. You know, when we're when we were advocating for improvements to site and things like this, this was a we had been doing that for a long time, and now this was it was a bigger scale, and it was initially overwhelming, but there was definitely a, a a sense of camaraderie um amongst the staff we we sort of said like well like, like you know where would these patients go what what would what would happen to what would happen to our patients we all kind of thought that we would if it did happen we would find something all the staff would find something to do but we knew that this was terrible for our patients and like the worst possible thing that could happen so it was amazing how, you know, little conversation in the nursing station or in the parking lot before or after work and it, it kind of grew and it grew and it grew and it snowballed so quickly because everyone had the same mindset and we didn't agree on all things. There were some things that, you know, some people wanted more, you know, in column A and some people wanted more in column B. Um, some people said they should, you know, rebuild the whole site, which was a bit much, but uh, in my personal opinion. But they, but you know, we we worked hard and we came together around a core belief, and that was Alberta Hospital served and serves its patients very, very well, and we need to protect it. And so that's what we did, and it was honestly amazing to see how you know when you start off with just a small group because the first meetings were pretty small and then it grew and it grew and it grew and it started that we had to have these town hall meetings and in um oh, i don't remember the name of the place but it's a it's a big hall on just off st albert trail there that one just in particular sticks out 
Yeah, the Italian, thank you. Yes, the Italian, in the Italian center off, uh, off St. Albert Trail. And, you know, there was, there was a moment, there had been a, you know, a growing swell of support leading up to this, but there was a moment, it's just like, are we going to, you know, is, it, is, is this going to be a large and empty hall, you know, and then, you know, if, if what message does that send if we have this hall mostly empty um, with, and then a few people angrily saying, save Alberta Hospital, you know, that, that we didn't know for sure there was you know we had hope but we didn't we we didn't know for sure if it would turn out and it did um people came out we had support from all sorts of people we had supports from like the seniors community we had supports from inner city groups we had it, it was really collectively everyone came together to advocate for alberta hospital and it's still here today it's still serving patients and it's you know they provide a a, a unique and uh, fantastic service and I you know we're the the province is better off for Alberta Hospital being here what the union did oh because because here you had this collectivity of people who worked there who were concerned yeah. what are we gonna do but was there a point at which the, your union came in and was a was a major help to your organizing efforts or? oh you know while this um, groundswell of support was kind of coming from everywhere it was the union that organized it that sort of uh, focused it and and made things happen because it was the union the the unions and I have to include AUPE in this as well that had the um, that had the communication structures to send things out that used the um, their resources to you know do the things like book the halls and things like that that was all and it, we the unions took a general unrest and a general feeling and was able to funnel it and distill it into something that an actionable, um, a, you know, a, not a rally, I guess, or not a, but like, uh, it, it, it took a general feeling, we need to save Alberta Hospital and, tr and, and distilled it into actions that ended up so saving Alberta Hospital. If it wasn't for the union's, uh, the, the union's work, uh, then, you know, all that, all that good feeling, all that energy, that, that, all that will to save Alberta Hospital would have been so unfocused and so dispersed over many areas that it would have not, we, I don't know that we have been, would have been successful. But the union took that, all that energy, focused it at a point and made it effective. And that's, you know, there was some, uh, there was, not everyone agreed on everything. That's something that you know, uh, it's true of many groups, but it's it's true of the, all the groups that came together to save Alberta Hospital. Not everyone was in agreement about everything, but what we did agree on and what the union helped bring everyone back to is, you know what, we can disagree about some of these other things later. We need to save Alberta Hospital now and then ad advocate for the other things that we need to or want to change after the hospital's been saved.